Good evening, I'm Dominique Soxa. I'm Bill Maiesa. Still developing tonight, two people hurt, one man missing after a boat crash on the San Jacinto River. Just about an hour ago, we confirmed that the man driving that boat has been charged with intoxication assault, but that charge could be upgraded. Our Taisha Walker has been following the story for you. She's joining us live where that accident happened yesterday near Sand Ridge Court. Taisha? Dominique and Bill, good afternoon. Yes, uh, crews are working right now to tow that boat and remove it from the water. That's been the goal for the last several hours out here. We're told that they're close. Meanwhile, the man who the district attorney's office says was behind the wheel of it last night has now been charged. Before boaters get ready to celebrate July 4th on the water, a warning from the Harris County District Attorney's Office. Getting drunk and getting behind the wheel of a boat is just as dangerous and can result in just as many deaths as doing it behind the wheel of a car. On Monday, Sean Tier with the DA's office says 42-year-old Galan Ruiz is being charged with intoxication assault for drinking while boating Sunday. Tier said a surveillance camera caught Ruiz speeding along the San Jacinto River near the Rio Villa neighborhood right before he crashed into a retaining wall. Ruiz and his girlfriend were taken to a hospital where they're now in stable condition. Their acquaintance went into the water and hasn't been seen since. If and when the third person that we believe was on the boat is recovered or discovered. Uh, the defendant's going to be facing a felony murder charge, um, being that this will be his third DWI related conviction. Game Warden spent much of the day searching for the missing man with sonar technology. They're hoping to recover more clues once they can get to the damaged boat. And the district attorney's office is not releasing the names of the other two victims that were involved in this crash. We're told that once they get that boat out of the water and into solid ground, they plan to search that boat, search the cell phones, and also to search the vehicles of the three people that were on board that boat to see if they can get some more clues. We're live in East Harris County, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.